Welcome to a new Vollog. As you may remember, in Vollog 282 I got a new trinocular microscope, then in Vollog 283 I got a new camera because the one shipped with the microscope had issues. Banggood till this day did not replace the camera which I believe is defective. They kept asking me to try these various settings in the camera menu to improve the brightness but none worked. Now to get a good image and have both the camera in focus and the eyepieces you will need some kind of reduction between the camera and the microscope body, an optical adapter. So first I got this uh, SZ MCTV 0.3x adapter. After reading some reviews who were claiming this will give the best field of view. Now after installing this adapter I noticed the field of view was almost the same as through the eyepieces which is great but I couldn't get it in perfect focus with the limited adjustment available on the adapter and I was getting this tunnel vision which I couldn't quite explain but it was obviously not what you want to see. And you know what else people don't want to see? Expensive PCBs. That's why I always use JLC PCB service where I can get a set of prototype PCBs for just $2. I can pick any solder mask color with no extra cost and the turnaround time is just 24 hours. Go check them out. After publishing the video with the new camera, someone reached out to me via email and this is a viewer who had a lot of experience with these microscopes in different setups, different cameras, and he explained a few things and what were the best results he could achieve in practice. So I'm gonna share some of that knowledge with you guys. First, he said that in order to fix the focusing issue I was having on the 0.3x adapter, I will also need a C to CS ring adapter between the camera and the adapter. Which makes sense because I noticed that raising the camera manually one or two millimeters did bring it into focus, but I just didn't have that adjustment range to uh, hold the camera in that position. However, he recommended that I also change from a 0.3x to a 0.5x adapter to get rid of the tunnel vision which is present on most of the cameras in the $150 budget when combined with the 0.3x adapter. This is supposedly related to the smaller size of the sensor found on these cameras. Although not tested yet, the 0.3x adapter might work fine with some of the more expensive autofocus cameras in the $350 range as those have internal focusing lenses as well to compensate and potentially a bigger image sensor. So I was set on ordering the uh, SZ MCTV 0.5x adapter and the C2CS ring adapter but then this guy said he noticed better image quality while using a newer type of 0.5 adapter with a wider body which is intended to be used on the newer microscope bodies that have a wider camera port. Luckily, the microscope I have was compatible with this new adapter after removing an adapter ring from the camera port. And so I got this newer wide body 0.5x adapter and installed it on my microscope. And this guy was right, the problem was solved. I could now get my camera into focus at the same time with the eyepieces, but with a loss in field of view due to the 0.5x adapter. Now, getting the uh, SZ MCTV 0.5x adapter would probably also work, that's a bit cheaper, but I went the, with the recommendation of getting the newer type of adapter with wider body and better optics. Uh, supposedly, this will improve the image quality just a bit. I also had a general discussion about these microscopes, so here are a few things I learned from a guy that has seen and tested most of these microscope models. The topic of Amscope came up and in general, although they might be made in the same factory as the other microscopes we get with similar construction, including the one I have, Amscope does have better quality control and better optics built into their microscopes. So you end up with a slightly better microscope, but that comes with a higher cost. So if cost is not a problem for you, go for an Amscope when possible. I was also told there is an inherent design issue with microscope bodies like the one I have here or previous versions. If we look closely, there is this gap in the microscope body facing downwards, right where the two halves of the body meet. For those who are soldering daily with this microscope, it becomes an issue because flux fumes can enter the microscope body through that gap and the residue will deposit on the internal optics, decreasing image quality over time. 
Some people choose to put some tape to seal that gap to prevent the fumes from entering the body. I was told that on the newer model with the focus adjustments in the front, they fixed this issue. There is no longer an open gap in that area. So if you are looking to get a new microscope, you might want to be looking at the newer body type, which I will place a link for in the description below the video. In order to keep this video focused, pun intended, I will do a second video coming out probably next weekend showing you how to correctly focus and adjust a trinocular microscope so that both the eyepieces and the camera are in focus at the same time. That was all for today. Let me know in the comments below if you can confirm the things I've said, if you've had a similar experience or if you've tried the more expensive autofocus cameras on these microscopes. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time with a new video.